What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL because these players are my first look, my first five guys that I absolutely love looking through the slate. Um, an hour before the actual slate starts, I will be posting an updated one on my Twitter at Cam underscore ATL. So make sure you follow me on that for my updated high five later on today. For now, let's get into my top plays as I'm looking at this slate. Make sure you guys go to greenlightdfs.com if you want to join the squad officially. And let's get this money, man. Yesterday dropped at like a 331 yesterday on that small slate. So did very good yesterday on the small slate. We've been on a bit of a roll here lately. We've only lost like twice in two weeks. It's crazy, but let's go ahead and get straight into this one. All right. At point guard, I'm going to go with my boy. I've been using this guy a lot lately because his shot has been falling. Jamal Murray. Okay. There's two things I look at with Jamal Murray. Okay. One, is he at home? Because he's much better at home than on the road. Yes. Okay. That check mark is, is good. He's at home in Denver. Second of all, matchup. He's going against Ricky Rubio. I love it, okay? Jamal Murray at home in a good matchup. I fire up almost every time because his shot is on right now. His usage rate is high. He's doing everything for this team right now. I love Jamal Murray a lot at 6,900. At shooting guard, another guy I really, really like on this slate, man, is Chris Dunn. I think he's got one of the better matchups on this Chicago team going against Dallas, okay? He's not going to have to deal with Wesley Matthews' defense. He's going to be seeing a lot of Dennis Smith Jr., some J.J. Barea, some Yogi Ferrell. Yogi is way too small. J.J. is way too small. Dennis Smith is not going to be able to do nothing. Chris Dunn has been playing very, very well. I love Chris going to playing in Dallas. Um, I like this a lot right here. I like this play. Chris Dunn at 7,100. He's got some good potential here, man. At small forward... Welcome back, my boy, Kawhi Leonard. I'm going to start playing him every time he starts now until his price gets up to where it needs to be. At 7,600, that's a steal, especially against a team like Phoenix, who's going to end up causing Kawhi Leonard to play even faster than normal. Okay, I love the matchup for Kawhi Leonard. His usage rate is ridiculous when he starts and plays for the San Antonio team. He is finally back. He got 31 minutes last game. That means fire up Kawhi every game that he's going to be playing as long as his price is as low as it is, okay? Last year, his price was up there with the top stars, okay? This guy's got huge, huge point potential, okay? So I love Kawhi Leonard at 76. He's a steal, all right? At center, I'm going to go with my boy Derek Favors. Rudy Gobey is still out, and they're gonna, Utah's going to need somebody with that size down low to handle Joe Okay, and that's going to be Derek Favors. Favors is going to get a lot of minutes. All the minutes he can handle trying to handle Joke down low. I love Derek Favors here, man. I just love the potential with how many minutes he's going to have to play here. And at 6,000, I think he can get 35 to 40 here. I like him a lot. Lock in Derek Favors. Last but not least, another guard. This guy's just been hot, man. At home in Memphis, Tyreek Evans going against Washington. Neither Bradley Beal or John Wall can handle Tyreek Evans. Evans' usage rate is high. He's been dishing out the assists. He's been getting some rebounds. He's been doing a lot for this Memphis team. And I love this matchup against Washington, man. This game's going to stay close. Okay, that's one of the more important things that I look into. Like, okay, do I believe that this game's going to stay close? Yes, okay, well, I want to get involved on this. I don't usually get involved on those games where a team is 15, projected 15 points higher than the other team. Normally, I'll go for, instead of going for that top projected, let's say Houston's playing and they're projected to score ridiculous, like 140 Okay, and the other team's projected to score 120. They got a 20 point over under. Okay, I would prefer to play in the game where a team's got projected to score 115 and the other one's projected to score 112. It's a close game, but both high. High, still a high scoring. So I like to target that. Um, I'm not saying this Memphis game's going to be high scoring because Memphis is slow. Um, they're a slow paced team, but. Going against Washington, Tyreek Evans is going to be able to do whatever he wants against the guards. I like Tyreek Evans a lot at 8000 His price actually dropped. So I like this a lot, man. All right, and that's it. Jamal Murray, Chris Dunn, Kawhi Leonard, Derek Favors, and Tyreek Evans is my high five for today, guys. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, man, because I'm about to dive right into this slate and research all through the day about 
an hour to 30 minutes before the slate, I'll post an updated high five. So you guys make sure you're refreshed on this. Follow me on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL. Like the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'm out.